Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Stopping by you pull and pay. Give me a couple switches that I probably already own. Just can't find them in boxes. <laughs> Bright and early on a Monday. Actually, it's not early. It's 2.39. Got a couple people buying wheels or tires. There's a Volvo out here. I hadn't seen a P80. Just wasn't it year I was interested in. I'm going to see if I see it. See how it looks for us. If there's anything special on it we need to pull off of it. I don't even know what row it's on. I haven't seen two of them out here. There it is. Dang, it's a maroon. S70. I think it's like a 99 or 2000. Do, 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 do. I need a flasher out of one of these cars, but I think I got one. Yep, 99 or 2000. Yep, 99 or 2000. Do, do, do. It's an NA. Let's see what the tag says. 2000. Oh man, look, somebody's hiding some stuff in here. Headlight out of some car. Nice looking headlight. <sighs> do, do, do. Somebody broke the speaker cover. A lot of people don't know this, but. Some of these uh, 70s got this pouch back here. You can keep stuff. Look, umbrella in there. Awesome. My umbrella protect me from the sun. Do do do. Blower motor in there. It's out of a salvage car. Good shift knob. Guess I'll grab that. Got to buy something while I'm out here. Good sun visor with home link in it. It's got a few things left in this car good. It's got the flasher button that was missing out of all the ones at two stacks. Button on the underside is broke, but the knob is good. It's not all cracked up and falling apart like some people's. So I'm going to take that, either ship it to somebody or put it on my website. Do, 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 do. Lights look good that one's got busted clips on it headlights are bad those things are up there and the hood lights is not destroyed man that's kind of rare they like to destroy those things do 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 got the tube on the front here somebody needed that cover so they took that Look like it's had a strut replaced over there. Uh, I'm going to take these. Somebody probably needs to come get this latch stuff. I'm going to get that plastic piece if it'll come off because I remember the one I had. The uh, plastic thing was busted. So, see if that comes out of there. Yes, it did. Probably should get the whole latch, but I'm going to take that plastic piece out of there. Use it for my blue car. Well, that was a clean break, so I guess I'll find that on the website. Order from a Volvo website. Do, 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 do. Let's go see if they got anything new. See if they got the switches I need off of those other two cars. Hmm, somebody left a transmission there. Took the engine. I didn't check the website to see if anything new was here. I just decided I'd come look. See what the dates are here. 721. This is old stuff. 
731. Trying to find the new road. The new road's out here somewhere. Ah, it looked like that other headlight. 726. 92. This is the new road. So let's go down here and see if we see anything worth picking off of. See if we see any Volvos, I guess, specifically. Do, 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 do. I might have to come get this trim piece here. And this trim piece here, even though it's got a little chip out of the corner. Uh, let me see if they got the switches I need. Looks like they still do. This windshield's still here, too. Maybe come and get that next day or two. Oop, that switch is gone. Oop, that switch is gone. The switches I came to get are gone. Somebody got them mugs. They took all the switches out of this car except for the lock and the mirror switch. Hmm. Guess I'm going to have to keep looking for Queen B. Huh, that plug is there. That's surprising. You got an S70 door light there. Well, that's it. Kind of a snooze you lose deal on those switches. I'm going to have to dig the ones out of my stores that I have. Or run down to another junkyard location and get them where they got several of these things. Man, these people pick them cars apart. Kind of hard to believe, but I believe it. Some numbskull came out here, took that instrument cluster, and destroyed this dash pad in the process. Wow. Took those light covers off, destroyed the dome light. Wow. Some destructive folks out here, boy, I tell you. Time for me to wash Queen Bee again. Look at them tires. I washed this thing Thursday. Took it out of town for the weekend. It got filthy. Somebody spat on it. Man, if I catch somebody spitting on my car, them haters, I would probably shake my head and laugh. That is such a stupid thing to do. But, while it was parked out at our little spot, something was leaking out of a tree. You got to get this stuff off of your car ASAP. It can stain the paint. Hopefully that stuff will come out. If you have a good coat of wax on it, it'll come right off. If not, you gotta scrub it off. Keep a good coat of wax on your car so that stuff doesn't stain the paint and washes off easy. So, let me go ahead and get this car washed. Probably wax the top surface of it to protect it. Probably wax the top four times a year and the rest of the car once or twice a year. Unless you're in a place where it's hard. You have to wax the top surface of the car once a month. Whatever your area needs according to your UVs. But if you wet it and the water doesn't beat up and run off, it needs wax. So let me get this car clean and see what else I could get into today. So I need to wash it. Need to figure out why my passenger side floor is getting soaking wet. And I need to clean the inside of it. So... Let me get it done. Looks like everything came clean on Queen Bee. A couple of those spots were stubborn, but they came off. Looks like the roof trim on this passenger side is coming apart. I need to put another one of those on there. I think I have one. The only spot I see on here now is where that lady tossed her cigarette and let it burn on the back of my car. Other than that, it looks clean. I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of wax on the top side of it just to make this a little easier and put some protection on it and then make sure my trunk drains are clean when I was in here the other day that drain wasn't going out the bottom I had to try to clear that with a long zip tie so I'm gonna check both of these drains you see that one is not draining through so I need to clean those drains out take the longest thickest zip tie you could get your hands on start poking it down in there and make sure water comes out down the bottom. I see it coming out down there, so I probably got that one. Let me make sure this one's clear. Then I'm gonna run the hose in them. Make sure they're clear. Gotta make sure these drains are clear. 
Okay, same goes for the ones on the front cow. So, in theory, you should not be able to pour a water bottle down there quicker than it could take it. As you can see, it's not backing up. It's taking that whole water bottle as fast as I can pour it down there. So, if you can't pour a bottle down there that fast, you probably got a clog somewhere. And you should try to get that cleared out. Now, what I did on the other side, I took that long zip tie I had. I pushed it down in there as far as I could. I started pouring water down there and I was running the zip tie up and down until it cleared out. That didn't work for this side. So this has something a little further down in the drain that hasn't flushed out yet. It goes down, but about half as fast as it should. Let me show you. So here it is on this side. And as you can see, it's backing up. It's not as fast. So I should probably find the other end of it and run the zip tie up the other end to try to clear that out. So this drain under the car is not that one under that tub there, but in the side there. That's where that water comes out. So I stuck the zip tie up there. I'm going to pour water in. I've run the zip tie in and out a few times. Hopefully to get anything loose that was in there on this side and of course you could always run compressed air or something like that down there help that get cleared out so I'm done with that it's going down maybe not as fast as the other side but it does work let me see if I can figure out why this floor is wet over here look at here the heater core was done 2017 now under here you have the hose that comes down and goes through the floor if that thing is plugged up, you get water trapped in that compartment under there. It's easier seen from the passenger side. And on this side, you got an amp in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug that and see if there's some issues with water. I'm going to unplug it on the other side right there. See if I get water to come out of there. Pull that tube off of that drain. Stuck a zip tie up there, dries a bone. So I don't think this water getting on this carpet over here was from the AC evaporator. So next I'm going to pour water down the sunroof drains and then I'm going to pour water down the engine cowl. Make sure water's not backing up through the drains on the engine cow. So let me go ahead and button this up and check the other possibilities. If the drains check out and the engine cow checks out, could possibly be a windshield leak, but it could also be possible that a bottle of water spilled down there. Wouldn't put that past the situation. Front sunroof drains clear. Back sunroof drains clear on the passenger side, which is the side I'm concerned about. Just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Sunroof drain is up there. You pour water in the sunroof track and it should go down that drain. quarter of a bottle should be enough and water should be draining out of there somewhere which it is right next to my floor mat let me move my floor mat Ugh. and you pour some down the back side of the track and you should get water coming out the back of the car so the sunroof drains are clear let me check the engine cow drains and I'm going to assume we spilled some water in the floor. So you got to keep these clear. I got a little debris in there. I don't think it's enough to clog it. But let me get that out of the way, pour some water down there. Do the same thing on the other side. When I pour water, it keeps going, comes right out the bottom of the car. So that's not it either. So I'm going to assume we spilled a bottle of water in the floor. And check it next time we go for a nice drive. 
Let's get some good wax on Queen B. Call it a day on this car. Alright, I'm done tinkering for the night. Queen B is washed. Top surface and the mirrors and the headlights are waxed. I should have waxed that front bumper down there because that takes a beating too, but I didn't. But anyway, I had to go inside, take care of some stuff in there. Unpack, clean up, organize. Thanks for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.